The installation of any Tavrida electric recloser is a simple and quick process. Following this how-to video, you will avoid potential mistakes during installation and ensure the reliable operation of your equipment throughout its usage. Installation, operation and maintenance should only be carried out by trained and experienced personnel who are familiar with the equipment, installation process and the electrical safety requirements. To unpack the recloser, cut all strapping tapes. Remove the screws from the perimeter of the collars and take them off one by one. Remove the collars carefully and do not let them touch the equipment to avoid scratching it. Check the equipment if it has any damages. To remove the components from the pallet, cut the plastic ties that hold the pole interface part. Unscrew the bolt which fastens the RC to its metal holder. Remove the RC by pushing it from right to left and then forward. Open the RC's internal door and remove the captive screw to release anti-vandal cover. Remove the screws which fasten the OSM to the pallet. Do not lift the OSM up to the pole right away. Prepare the mounting kit on the ground first. Open the external door of the recloser control and then switch the battery circuit breaker. Wait until the panel located on the internal door turns on. Prepare all the necessary equipment and tools that will be used during the recloser installation. Please do the following. Unscrew the surge arresters holder from the OSM tank. Flip it horizontally and fasten it back into place. On the opposite side of the OSM tank, unscrew the surge arresters holder from its supporting parts and remove the pole interface bracket. Flip around horizontally and install the surge arresters holder back into place. The recloser can be installed either in a frontal or lateral position. For frontal installation, just connect the pole interface bracket to the mounting frame using M16 fasteners. For lateral recloser position installation, remove the surge arrestors holder, unscrew the four bolts holding the OSM from both sides, and remove the side mounting brackets from the OSM, rotate their direction 90 degrees, and fasten them to lower holders. Install the surge arrestors holder on the OSM and attach the pole interface bracket to side brackets with M16 bolts. To facilitate the installation, it's recommended to fit all the additional components before lifting the recloser up to a pole. Install surge arresters onto the holders using the procedure described by the surge arrestor manufacturer. Connect the earthing wires to appropriate holes on the surge arrestors holders. The high voltage part of the surge arrestor and line connections to the VT should be done in accordance with the manufacturer procedures and local regulations. To perform a reliable connection to a power line of any type of conductors, we recommend using NEMA type connectors. In this case, surge arrestors connections can be attached directly to NEMA terminals on the ground. Special protection covers are also available to protect line connections against birds or aggressive environmental factors. Depending on pole type, the recloser can be equipped with mounting accessories for installation through or around the pole. The VT holder can be supplied with both types of accessories. Use lifting provisions located on lower holders to lift the recloser to the pole. Attention! 
The lifting facilities should not come into contact with bushings, surge arresters, or auxiliary VT bushing extensions. Fasten the recloser using the corresponding U profiles and studs. Install the VT on the holder and fasten with bolts through the correct holes. Use the universal plate to fix the rest of the holes. Lift the IC using lifting provisions located on top of the cubicle to mount it to the pole. Before lifting up the RC, make sure that the RC doors are closed. The control cable, umbilical, is disconnected. The RC umbilical socket cover is closed. The RC5 recloser control has universal mounting brackets, allowing the attachment of the RC onto the pole with studs, stainless steel bands, or U-profiles. Primary wiring connection depends on a type of the terminal supplied with a recloser. The REC series recloser has several terminal options, such as aerial clamps, lugs, and NEMA connectors. The prepared HV wires can be simply connected to the line with clamps or to disconnector terminals. The earthing process is very important in terms of personnel safety and protection of equipment from damage. Make sure that the OSM tank, mounting frame, RC, and VT are properly connected to the same earth bus using separate earthing jumpers. All earthing points are marked with standard labels. Make sure that the system impedance to the ground is less than 5 ohms. Connect the umbilical cable to the OSM and RC and then secure the umbilical down the pole. Put the anti-vandal cover back on and fasten the captive screw from inside of the RC. To connect the auxiliary power supply cable to the VT, use the terms and regulations provided by the VT manufacturer. The other end of the cable should be inserted into the RC through the cable gland located at the bottom of the RC. Connect the cable to the power supply module according to handling and installation guide. Close the internal door and turn low voltage circuit breaker on. It's best practice to check the overall installation before final commissioning. Perform the RC setting setup via MMI, USB, Bluetooth or TDI. Conduct no load, on load and other commissioning tests specified by local utility regulations. We hope you have found this video informative and useful. You can find more information about our products at tevrida.com.